And this here is January 1st, 2023. First, first podcast of the January month. With that being said, I want to um address something. So, a lot of people are becoming woke. And with that being said, a lot of people are saying that, hey, how can we start a new year when everything is cold, everything is dead, nothing is um new about this new year. Um, with that being said, I want to get my two cents on that. And this is going to be more of a rant, I guess. So, switch it up. This is a Lisa rant. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, January 1st, 2023. And a lot of people saying, oh, this can't be a new year because everything's dead. Everything's old. Um, nothing's new. So, how can it be new? Uh, with that being said, I know that, and this is where I say, I, I say this a lot, this is contradicting because I contradict myself because I like to be very open-minded when it comes to everything. So, a lot of things change and evolve. With that being said, everything that changes isn't for the worse. However, I know the reason, and this is the research I've done, so if I'm wrong, correct me, you know, I don't care about none of that. But, uh, with that being said, it's like, they changed, and as in they, I want to say, Rome, Greek, Greek, Roman, whatever. But with that being said, they were the ones who changed the calendar to the Gregorian calendar. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Changed it to the Gregorian calendar, added the extra months in. When they added the extra months in, I mean, hey, then it led to January 1st being a new year. I know some other places around the world celebrate January 1st as a new year. I know one of those um, Asian countries celebrated a little bit further down in January, I want to say, but I know it's not January 1st. Either way, with that being said, um, I think it was just a change that was made. I don't know whether it was for good or for worse because, like I said, some some changes are good changes. It's just like um, a lot of the fruits were like GMO'd and man-made. However, um... I want to say I seen something on one of these social media platforms where they would talk about, oh, bananas are man-made, they're GMO, they're not natural because they, you know, all big or whatever. But with that being said, yeah, they are bigger. And I think the um, comment was made that they are bigger, but the, with them being bigger, they are healthier and they do taste better. So that's a good change. Um, another thing is... Um, a lot of things are more convenient now with change. I'm going to be honest. I'm one of the people that I really don't be liking the change that I made because it's just like, it made people so lazy. Like, convenience and lazy. Like, I mean, they kind of go hand in hand, but sometimes that, that convenience just leads to laziness. But back to the subject. Um, I want to probably look into or look forward to, like, feeling more renewed and, and really, like, um new year ish in spring because that's what people are saying like why is it spring the new year and if you think about it i haven't did the math or anything like that but we have um the months i want to say october was supposed to be the eighth month and september was supposed to be the seventh month which we know they're not um they were saying august and july were the months that were added on so removing those months i'm not gonna do the math right now because my brain is not gonna calculate that <laughs> But if we do the math, does does will that make spring the new year instead of because I think there were maybe like nine months instead of um twelve. Either way, does it line up with, you know, spring? I really don't know. So maybe one of those real smart people out there, one of the people who got a whole lot of time, put you know, put the numbers and timeline together and see how that falls in. But I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that vibe like, oh, this is a new year, this is a new spring. And I don't know why, but subconsciously, I feel like I, every year around springtime, of course, because you throw things out and, you, you know, you clean your house up, you spring cleaning, you know. So, um, with that being said, everybody say for the new year, we want to clean house, straighten everything. Ooh, here we are. Ooh, here. Throw everything away and, you know, come back and get new things. I mean... Not get new things, but clean out and have a refresh, restart. I get that. Um, but that's something we do naturally during spring. 
So that leads me to believe like, hey, yeah, maybe that is more of a New Year's time of year during spring. Um, another thing is, um, is like, like I said, with the contradicting part of it, I don't know if it, it changed in a better way or it changed in a worse way because I don't know. I just don't feel like that kind of applies to that. Like, what what's the difference of the new year being in January? I mean, I understand the difference that, hey, it's cold outside versus being hot. I understand that, you know, you actually plant seeds and seeds are growing in the new year. You get new crops. I do understand that. But I guess on the con side or, or on the change side of it, like, I don't, I don't understand why would they change it or, I mean... If they added on the months, why would they change January from, you know, from January to March or whatever, whatever the spring season would be? Like, I don't know. So, I don't really know how I feel about that, y'all. I'm like, um, what I want to say? Not forward, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I hate to say I don't know. I just don't agree. Yeah, I'm going to be confident and say I don't agree with it. I don't agree with, uh, the new year being, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't agree with the new year being in the cold season in January. And then in the middle of January, I mean, in the middle of winter, that, and then they said the fourth. That's another point that I heard, like, listening to all these things. It was like the um the four seasons haven't even completed. Now, if you think about it, spring starts in March, and then you go through all the season and then start back over again. I mean, it makes sense. It makes it makes perfectly good sense to me. So, I, I yeah, I'm I'm all for the new year being a spring thing versus winter thing. So I guess I didn't contradict myself this time around. Like I said, I do believe change is good in some ways, and I do believe that a lot of things and a lot of regulations and rules that you know the government comes about is like all right, there's a reason behind it. Just like a uh, what people always say whenever I uh go like if I go to a job or something and it was like oh these are the rules because somebody did it uh, it's, it's somebody did this before so that's why the rule in place for it every time you go to sign a new lease you got you know certain rules and regulations about what to do and it was like these rules are in place because this is something that somebody else did before so you know I believe in that but this whole spring and I mean spring <laughs> a new year in the spring I mean in the winter time. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not for it. I'm not for it at all. So, um, I do want to add this on for this year, this spring. I want to do like a a rejuvenation event, a renewing event, like a. I guess it's a. I don't know. Like I guess like a spring event, but I want to do it like an opening, like all oh, like a refresher type of thing. I guess it, it will be like our new year celebrate. I want to, I want to basically make a new year celebration in spring for all those people who agree or feel like this is the new me, new year, new type of thing in spring where it's easier because you're not feeling those, uh, what called winter blues when you, you know, they say the darker days bring you down. So I want to just get a group of people that want to come together in the springtime Invite, invite somebody. When you invite that person, you get a gift for that person and make it a meaningful gift because that's someone that helps you, helped you get through that last year, previous year, whatever. Invite them as your, you know, plus one, plus two or whatever to the event and bring gifts to them. But I want to make it so you bring a gift for them, but don't expect a gift back. Now, if they come, you can let them know the stipulation. Oh, this is a refreshing event or renewing event or New Year, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to call it just yet. Event. You can bring a gift for people if you want. You don't have to bring gifts. But if you do, you can bring a certain amount. Or you can bring like a product that you sell. Like have, say for you sell soaps, candles, or whatever. You bring, you know, five candles. And you just see five people there that you so happen to vibe or feel an attraction to. Because that's, 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 that's me. That's what I meant. If y'all don't know, y'all should know by now. I go off energy. I go off vibe. So if you just so happen we have this social event um and you feel a good energy from a person like here i bought gifts i want to give you this gift or the person who bought you you be like here i want to give you this gift this is what i bought here for you and i want to share and i mean everybody will sit around the day at that day and time and just you know share opening gift type of ceremony so i want to make it christmasy new year's he like all mashed in one type of situation so um people 
don't steal my idea. Let me let me accomplish it first, then y'all can, you know, take our way. But seriously, you know, everybody come together, share gifts, and then um start new habits, pretty much. Like, okay, this is a refreshing year, so we're going to stop this and be more consistent with that. And then, like I said, with more sun, and they saying people being more active, people are able to be outside more. People getting more vitamin D naturally. It is just so everything refreshing and everything is re rejuvenating. So, like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to call it as yet, but refreshing, rejuvenating, re, I don't know, I re, 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 end of it. <laughs> Made me think about the show. I ain't going to talk about it, but we, y'all know, y'all know. But, um, but yeah, with that being said, um, let me know if you want to be a part of that event. I'll let you know the date, time, and location. You know, some people, if you want to just do a little bit of traveling, springtime, like maybe, uh, what it is? What's that thing? What is spring break vacation that kids be having? I don't know. Maybe it's called spring vacation. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But maybe, you know, some during that time, you know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. That's not it. I don't know. It's in my head, man. I really want to know. But yeah, with that being said, that's a goal I'm going to try to do. That's my opinion about the new year of uh, being in January. But uh, at this event, you know, I'll, I'll just list some details. I'm Like I said, I'm putting it on my Facebook. My Facebook is Lisa Gregory. And because uh, I'm trying to put it. But yeah, my Facebook is Lisa Gregory. And then you also can find me on Instagram, Karma Health, K-R-M-A. H-E-A-L-T-H -H underscore. And I will list those in the description below. But yeah, with that being said, this is a Lisa rant. Let me know your opinion. I just be talking my opinion. Y'all seen that ghetto mouth smack? I'm 31 years old still doing that. I don't know. But yeah, with that being said, that is my rant. That's all I got to say. Let me know your opinion. If you don't want me to know your opinion, don't share it. Hey, don't matter to me. Share it if you don't. If you want to talk, talk. But with that being said, I'm out.